Alright guys, today we have another one to be print. There's a customer that calls me. He wants his logo. He wants 32 logo. Okay? So the logo size is four by any half. So he just emailed to me one image. And out of that, we build this one. So we create a tile of it. So this is now the logo. So he agreed to have this film and publish. But he will get this free. Free heat transfer. <laughs> it's okay. You know, for the purpose of showing us also to you how this works. So. Our, the version of our the version of our rip software can do these things he, we can tile it this is our rip software the version of our rip software that we released now to the customer has the capability to tile it so we just one image and you can tile it like like that like how many images one two three four five six seven eight so from one images to eight and eight by four so that's 32 so he needs 30 but i print him 32 continuous continuous printing this is mcleod continuous printing look at that guys so this printer this is originally from uh, mp 1812 so basically this printer can print up to the bottom of the film this is the advantage of this printer so we convert that 1812 put it into roll roller plus the inkster oh i forgot the inkster so let's say now i've been resting for one hour so i want to make sure that my ink are good so all i have to do is just on it and started to started to steer my ink see with no effort there's a red light there because that's a there's a light that says how what is the voltage so that the steering uh, can be the speed of the steering can be controlled so you can change it see so you see the you can, can you can hear it so if you want to see the how the stator works it should be empty because you cannot see it staring inside it should be empty so that you can see how the stator works i think i have a video already about our stator so that's it so you can adjust it and now it started to print push the print oh this is not the one i think this is the first one where we made a mistake so that's the second one See, it's coming out already and it started to print and one thing i noticed guys once you are stirring your ink you know one thing i really noticed after we put this uh stirrer so we keep stirring the white you know one thing we notice the white the ink the white i just use a gradient under white but one thing i notice the white are really really white it improves the white because the the ink are st uh, stirred all the time so it has a very nice white before my white is like a light one it's like a not so white there's like a clear white or oh, there's a clear something i cannot uh, explain it to you but it's not as white as this but with the with the stirrer because it's keep staring so the ink the white ink are keep staring the printing are really good so this is a good result of the steering so this is what the steering can do for you it's not that like shake 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 <laughs> it's not like just like that so if you printing the white are really white because you know all the pigment of white are mixed together are really mixed you see this one so it keeps printing so the first batch already came out this one is the one before we, you know, we made a mistake. So the, the, the key for this 
is to put the the the, the images on the on the center like there i got a lot of space on the on the left side but i don't have space anymore here so look here it's almost see it's almost on there's no more like one more mistake and it's like so i don't know you know it's not hard to bring it down so so put the space on the left side always so that you will have the because here see i don't have any space anymore so always put a, a lot of space there maybe half an inch because i just put like i think 25 inch so it should be more but this is one thing i noticed guys the white are really good because the ink are steer steered the white ink are steered and so it's coming out this is a logo of uh, showboy showboy this is showboy show this is showboy show so thank you showboy show for allowing us to print your logo thank you for trusting us and i'll give this a logo for free and now i'll be for while waiting so this is my biggest problem now i have this very long print of MacLeod. Oh my God, how could I powder this with too long? I need a powdering machine. So anyway, guys, we're testing a powdering machine. So don't just buy again any powdering machine from somewhere else down there, far away. Because you know what happened? I have a Customer, he almost burned his warehouse. Oh, well, somebody's calling. Who's that? Hey, can I call you back? I'm in the middle of the filming. I'm in the middle of filming. I'll call you back, okay? Thank you. Oh, that's, that's a customer of mine. And so, Let's go back to this. You know, I just want to show everything to you. So how could I powder this long heat transfer? <laughs> oh my gosh, I have a big problem now. So see, but look at this. Yeah, so this is really good. See, it keeps printing straight, straight, straight. Oh my goodness. See? So I don't know if you want to wait, but this is how it works. So I can show to you a little bit, a glimpse of what we are doing. So this is, uh, oops, I hope I could not destroy it. Show boy. Sh yeah, it's show boy show. So show boy show. See, this is their logo. Black with red. Yeah. Okay. So I hope you enjoy our video and yeah, order your printer now because this printer is so much in demand. It can produce now, it's equivalent now to a printer that produces a lot. So this is now a production printer, this is not just a hobby. And one thing guys, it's very important that you ship from using shit. Shit is only good for home use, okay? But it, if, if you are in production you better use the, the roll because one thing you know the sheet after you print like maybe about 50 20 to 50 sheets the roller the roll here this one here the the pickup roller cannot pick up the cannot pick up the film anymore and one thing when it prints it's so problematic because you know what he will eat a lot of shit and throw throw he will throw it out until it started to print so you have to load a lot of that's the biggest problem on the sheet that's why if you, there's another seller in florida that's explained that there's nothing wrong with the printer the printer will just eat a lot of sheets before it'll start to print that's the biggest problem and i seen that and i get frustrated it's like hey sometimes it eats like four because normally it will at the end of the printing he will throw 
like 60 centimeter so like like half a meter of more than half a meter of of film so that's why if you are using shit that you are in big problem so because at the end of this you will really notice if you will stay longer we are already 10 minutes in printing and how many more to go we're already on on the 18 but i think we have to stay okay i would like to say this is more a longer video but i would like you to stay you will have to stay longer because I have to show you that the end of printing it's four after printing four batch because this is one batch okay another batch we are on the third batch already so this is four batch so after it shows the four batch I want you to show how it reacts at the end of the printing because if it, it, it will really throw a lot of sheets now if you are using sheets there's a problem really and you, you you print the next one it will throw a lot of shit before you start printing but if you are using the roller all you have to do is just reverse it back up if the car is like back up <laughs> so you don't have any problem with the feeding problem already that's happening when you are using the the sheets so once you try this kind of printer the roller printer you will never go back to a sheet printing and you throw a lot of money on the film too because you know there's a lot of wasted on the on the sheets there because you, you produce an a3 and sometimes you don't need the whole a3 and uh if you are buying printers from somebody who doesn't know how to convert just watch the video and convert it oh my god so that's what happened to them it's like there's always two inch of film that is not cannot be printed at the bottom so if you are watching those conversion from the youtube they are not they don't know what they're doing and there's two inches that cannot be printed at the bottom we have that kind of printer too that is a mp1813 but uh we don't know people no, only few order that one mostly they use the 1812 because the 1812 we can print it up to the bottom so this is now almost there it started to print the port batch maybe this is we could reach up to 15 minutes but 15 minutes man think about it 15 minutes and you produce 30 logo right so look at this so this is one advantage of using DTF you can put it like a label on the tag of the shirt at the back you know if you can put a, a, a tag label or a small in the sleeves this is the best way to use the DTF if you are using DTG then you can use DTF on the sleeve you know at the back of the shirt where you put your own brand this is really the solution so this is the printer so if you are not really a big production yeah just just use this printer he said the p600 p600 and runs better faster but you know what the problem there is yeah the ink the ink steering how you could steer the ink that's the first problem so unless we are still designing how to do that and uh, we are sending that uh, printer now in the lab but you have to remove the ink shake 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 and put it back and how many times you do that every day so every two hours every four hours maybe you have to remove the ink think about it you have to remove the ink every four hours just to shake 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 and what will happen to the damper there you might destroy the printer at the end you know because you keep removing the ink the ink is you know sometimes it took years for the regular printer to remove the ink but this time you remove the ink every four hours or every, let's say once a day what will happen to that and you are buying a three thousand dollar printer that's really bad whereas this printer it's a little bit slow but it is sure it is a first photo printer that is an ink tank made by Epson so it is a little bit slow but you know this will deliver the job and it would last a long time 
and the printed also are not really that expensive whereas the p6000 you know what the once the printer run out because if you are not stirring your ink the next issue there is your head will clog now you just put those three thousand dollar printer in a big trouble and uh printhead are expensive too so what you will you do with that you will just throw away your three thousand dollar printer once your print clogs so yeah it's faster but with the continuous printing with the sheet printing on the p600 it fast but it's shit you know but, but with the 1800 with the continuous with the roll printing you know you can you can you can uh, compare it and oh, oh see see what happened at the end of the day see it's using roll so it throws a lot of ink uh, it throws a lot of film see how long that film is he throws that's the that's the process so if you're using sheet you will throw that sheet like how many sheets that one two most likely two or a three three a three he will throw three a three when you start printing again so this is now our result see whoa we produced a good one i made a mistake there i didn't put the space but it's fine you can learn you know as you go along you're learning but, but the purpose of filming so this is the one so your customer send one design one images but in an, in a short period of time i don't need to edit it in the photo to have this one my our rip software can do this one because we got a good rip software you know those crack rip software they're not working good so here see we can tile it so don't buy rip software from anybody else buy from us because our rip software can do like this in no time with one images you can do like this okay so yeah this is all i can share it's just a 17 minutes video already well good luck to you see you again